Hello and welcome to today's session on the Flipper Zero Wi-Fi Dev Board. My name is Rob from Steam Labs and it seems like a lifetime since I've actually recorded anything for YouTube because I have been so, so busy with Robotics World Championships or with work or just with business. So hopefully this is a worthwhile video for today. And before we kind of start with the Flipper Zero, typically when we are conducting pen testing or if we're having a look at Wi-Fi attacks for educational purposes, we would use tools like this. This here is the Wi-Fi pineapple, but you can see here with my antenna kind of dropping down, this is quite a large device. This would not be able to fit in your pocket like the Flipper Zero would. If we're also doing pen testing on Wi-Fi networks, we might use an alpha adapter, which looks something like this or something as small as this. But with all of these devices, you need to have a computer present. The fantastic thing about the Flipper Zero with the Wi-Fi dev board is you can capture handshakes, you can de-authenticate people from their network, you can rickroll people. So it has so, so much functionality. So without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Let's have a look at how you can set up Moralda and some of the functionality of Moralda on the Flipper Zero. Okay, so we have got our Flipper Zero here and we are going to make a start. So what does it look like, first of all, once it's plugged into the Flipper Zero? So I've got this fancy case on here from the Flipper Zero. And this is going to be what it looks like once it's plugged into the Flipper Zero. And you can disconnect it just like this using the GPIO pin slots at the top. Now, I'm going to be plugging this in today just to make it much, much easier for us. And we're going to start by having a look at what is the firmware which you need to flash onto the Wi-Fi dev board. Now, if you go to this URL link, which is at the top, and again, this is underneath the video, you will need to download a zip file on here. So it says download and extract this zip file. Once you have managed to download and extract that zip file, so I've got this in my Flipper Zero folder, um, you are going to be presented with contents which look like this. Now, the first thing which you are going to have to do here is you are going to need to connect it using the USB-C slot. So I'm going to open up that preview again. So I'm going to get a USB-C cable. I'm going to plug back in the dev board and we are going to connect it to the USB slot, C slot on the dev board. Now, before you do this, you also need to hold down a button. So I'm going to power off my Flipper Zero to begin with. So hold down this button here, plug it in, hold it for approximately three seconds, and then you should be able to run that executable file, which is in this folder here. If you double click this file, you should be presented with these options. Now, if you're not being presented with these options, it is because you didn't hold down the power button for long enough, or the power button wasn't being held down before you plugged in the USB-C cable to the Wi-Fi dev board. Once you have done this, you're gonna select on number one to flash the Marauder software or firmware to the dev board. So I'm going to press on enter and you're going to be presented with this list of options here. This is going to take around one minute to flash for firmware and then you should pretty much be good to go. Okay, so once this is finished, you'll be presented with a screen which looks like this. You should then be able to close the application and open back up the Flipper Zero. Now, rather than me using my GoPro with lights on, I'm actually just gonna open up the Flipper Zero software, so it's much easier for you to see. Okay, so we have plugged in our Flipper. I'm not gonna update this for now, just so you are aware of the firmware which, which I am running on here. This is the Rogue Master firmware. So I'm gonna ignore this update for now, and we are gonna make a start with our Flipper Zero. So I'm gonna press on the toggle button, and if we have flashed the firmware correctly, we should have the Wi-Fi Marauder option available. I'm gonna select on this, and we're gonna have a look at how you can actually start scanning access points. Now, please bear in mind that 
the different scan or the results from the scan, which I'm going to be showing here, are going to be grayed out just so I don't share anybody else's SSID for their router. But let's have a look if it's able to pick up access points within the vicinity. So I am looking for one which is called Teddy and I'm looking for one which is also called Theo Mali. OK, so to stop this from scanning access points, we're just going to select on the back button and I'm going to open up that flipper zero again and I'm going to have a look at it has it picked up the SSIDs that I am looking for. In order to do that, we are going to scroll down to list AP and select on the middle button and let's see if it has got the Wi-Fi access point that I am focusing on in today's video. So we have got Teddy 2, which you should be able to see here. What we want to firstly do is see how we can select this access point and if we are able to de-authenticate devices which are connected to this network. So this is number four, so I'm going to select on the back button. I'm going to now go down to select AP and inside select AP, I'm going to enter the number four, press on save, and then you should be able to see that we have selected one access point for this attack here. Now that we've done that, I'm going to go back to the back button again. And what we want to be able to do is have a look at, firstly, what are the different attack methods that are available? Now, before we kind of continue any more, remember everything which we are doing are purely for educational purposes here and for cybersecurity research and penetration testing. You shouldn't be trying to de-authenticate people from a Wi-Fi network that doesn't belong to you. Now, let's have a look at the different attack services which are here. So we've got de-auth, we've got probe, we've got rickroll, which is something which we're going to explore later in today's video. Now, you should be able to see my iPhone pop up on the screen here in a moment. What I want to be able to see is, are we able to de-authenticate my mobile phone from this Teddy 2 network? So I'm going to set my screen recorder to on. And now that it is on, we should be able to see a list of Wi-Fi networks which are available. I'm going to select on de-auth. And does it kick me off of Teddy 2? And you can see I was kicked off very, very quickly. Now, in order to stop this attack, we're just going to select on the back button and I should then be able to reconnect to Teddy 2. Let's see if it allows me. And I've reconnected to Teddy 2. Now, again, for something which fits in your pocket and for something which is so, so small, imagine the type of chaos for people could cause if they were using this for malicious purposes. And also think about the functionality that is available on the Flipper Zero for a pen tester as well. No laptop required for testing Wi-Fi networks, just something which can fit in their pocket. Now, the next thing that I want to do here is have a look at the other options of it that are available before we move on to Rickroll. So something which we can do is sniff PMK ID. What we will be able to do is D off somebody from their network. We'll be able to capture that password when they reconnect. And then we'll be able to use a tool like Hashcat to see if we can break that password with WordList. Now, this is going to be coming up in another video on the Flipper Zero very, very soon. Now, what we want to now do is see, are we able to rickroll people that are connected to a particular Wi-Fi network? So first of all, what is going to happen on my iPhone is when we press on rickroll here with our Teddy 2 device selected from our access point list on my mobile phone is going to de off me from Teddy 2. And then we should start seeing the lyrics from the very famous Rick Astley video. So let's select on Rickroll and let's see if we can see those Rick Astley lyrics. OK, so on my mobile phone, you are seeing that I haven't been de off from Teddy 2. But what it's actually presenting me with are the lyrics from Rick Astley. So never going to give you up, never going to make you cry. And if we leave this running for a few more minutes, we're going to see never going to tell a lie. All of these famous lyrics are now presenting themselves as valid access points. And what happens if I actually try to connect to this? So let's select on never going to give you up. Can I connect to this AP? 
and can I flood people with the Rick Astley lyrics in the local vicinity? It looks like I can. Now, this is a very, very short video today to show you how to set up the Meralda firmware on the dev board. It's to show you how you can use de-authentication for penetration testing purposes. And it's also to show you how you can use a Rick roll to flood somebody's Wi-Fi list or access points or available access points with the very famous Rick Astley lyrics. Hopefully this has been a useful video and I'm looking forward to seeing you in another video very, very soon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.